strategy while I'm trekking through some pretty thick swamp land in South Eastern America. And I'm on the search to find one hell of a turtle with one hell of a badass girl, Laura Zera. Helping me to track one turtle with an angry reputation and an ain't Raphael. Alright, well, now the funny thing about this technique that I'm using is it's the exact same technique as the Aboriginals use in the northern part of Australia. Now, what they'll do is, often in the winter time, you see, you can't find the turtles because they're all underground, you see, because it's so cold. So, that's where coming and probing works to your best advantage. And what I'm probing for is I'm probing for the hard part of the shell, which generally is no deeper than 30 centimetres below the surface. But, these are no Australian turtles that I'm after. Today I'm going to be showing you how to catch the world's largest freshwater turtle right here in Louisiana. Woo! Well, you can find these guys in just about every freshwater habitat. They prefer shallow, slow-moving water. A lot of the time they spend hanging out at the bottom or buried in the mud. But they adapt so well, you can find them anywhere, from a sewer to the water hazard on a golf course. I keep reminding Andrew to keep his stick ahead of his bare feet, because if he's not careful and one of these guys gets a bite on him, he's going to go from a size 9 shoe to a size 6. These guys pack just over a thousand pounds per square inch, which means the strength of their bite lands them just between a tiger and a bear. Yeah. And so you can guess, Laura would once again literally stop me with her amazing skills of detection. She's definitely always been good at picking out all possible signs. Well, if it wasn't for my constant sign tracking, smartass, I wouldn't have found this little guy. Yeah, top story, Trudy. I reckon another hour of you searching, we would have had enough signs to have built a small city. Anyway, keep watching. I think his size might just surprise you. Under him, and I'll grab him there. Yep. Just um, right. there you go. Just... Got him? Yeah. Right, just stick. There he is. Get him up, get him up. I can't, I can't grab him. Go, Maggie, that way. That's right, Maggie. There we go, there we go. Whoa! Woo! All right, Gigi. I'm looking at signs of him. Whoa! Now this guy here, he's known as the alligator <laughs> snapping turtle and you can just see the size of him and guess what this isn't even the full size probably only the average size look at the mouth on him let me just give you a good close up of him look at that Woo! that is you got to find sooner or later now oh, let me just bring him down a little bit now these guys predominantly you'll find them out here in these marshes these swamplands we're just south of Louisiana, and you can tell I'm out of breath. <laughs> he's huge. I'm bloody out of breath. <laughs> can, you, can you hold yeah. him for a second, mate? It's like he's actually that heavy. It's not funny. Now, getting a bite from a guy like this, like, he'd quite literally, he'd quite literally take your hand off, you know, that sharp beak. But they've actually got a lure right in the back of their mouth. What they do is they, they flick that little lure about, right? And then they actually attract things like fish small lizards, amphibians, and as soon as they get close enough, they'll just snap it, whack it, crack it, and that's it. They got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they actually live in these pretty muddy areas a lot of the time, so a lot of their adaptations have to do with finding food in really muddy waters. They have all these little appendages coming off, all these little worm-like things coming off his head. It's unbelievable. And they can actually sense movement what, in the water. These things here? Yeah, yeah, there's one leg right here. Oh, God, he is heavy. Um, also, they. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> I know, it's quite the we workout. We just lift knees at the gym instead of the weight. So. Yeah, how many reps? All right. About, about 30. Yeah. Um, they also can taste prey in the water, the chemicals that the prey put off, and uh, helps them find food in this murky nastiness.